Hour long login queues. The warm, fuzzy feeling that only Baron's chat can give. Ironforge and Orgrimmar teeming with population. Classics launch has been anything but boring, even managing to blast past Fortnite in terms of viewership and with full servers to back up those numbers. My weeks of anticipation for launch haven't been a letdown. My favorite game is back from the near grips of death and seeing so many players find what made this whole experience so memorable in the first place is an awesome sight. Without the clutter of all the expansions that retail brought in, people are less intimidated into diving into the world of Azeroth. For people that have been wondering how to fix WoW, Occam's Razor seems to apply here. The simplest solution is almost always the best. Classic's been available for some time now, and things have already turned out much better than anticipated. What once was being called the nostalgia-driven craze has instead turned into a gathering community. Returning veterans and new players alike have come back to Azeroth in droves, with servers packed to the brim and Baron's chat overflowing with the usual filth. This is in stark contrast to retail, with its abysmal subscriber count almost entirely held aloft by the Chinese market. Players are falling in love with the original game and moving away from the Skinner box model of modern Warcraft. A return to difficulty and cooperation rather than handouts and participation trophies. People are communicating and making friends from finding groups instead of relying on the Dungeon Finder and LFR to match them with faceless players from dozens of other realms. People have longed for what made Warcraft an MMO instead of the Skinner box it has become in retail. This by no means is me just bashing retail. I was still playing last year and my main had almost 25,000 achievements with more pets, mounts, and toys than any sane man should have. But Classic really does feel like a breath of fresh air. First of all, community is key in any MMO. When a lot of people think World of Warcraft, they think of a toxic player base and negativity. But the reality hasn't been the case for Classic. People want to play this game. In fact, I've encountered so many people that are playing Warcraft for the first time. People are eager to group up and complete challenging quests together. Solo players have a much easier time encountering others and making random friends along the way. Alongside this, Blizzard has actually been communicating with the player base about changes and the situation. Just recently, they even started the free character migrations to help reduce queue times, but we can get to that issue later. Speaking of issues though, the usual jokes of server crashing on a Blizzard game launch went relatively uncalled for. There haven't been massive outages besides the DDoS attacks, which isn't on Blizzard's end. Outside of long login times due to the sheer volume of people, this has been as smooth a launch as anyone could have hoped for. On a personal note, and probably for a lot of people right now, I'm able to play this with a lot of my friends at once. Some of them I haven't had a game like this to enjoy in a long time. Some of them as fans of Classic, and others enjoying Vanilla for the first time. I even had one friend who outright said he would not be playing due to his hate for retail, and he's now enjoying his life as an undead rogue who fishes in his spare time. The multiplayer aspect of an MMO is omnipresent here, and to summarize, it's just been fun for all kinds of people. Of course it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows. First and foremost have been the queues. Blizzard seemed to underestimate the demand for this right up until the launch, with servers filling up days in advance of the start. Even though things didn't crash, a 3 hour wait time isn't the friendliest thing for new players to see. Servers being added helped, but wait times remained on the higher end. Verlina being as popular as it is has often had an over 4 hour wait time during weeknights with far more horrifying numbers on the weekends. Blizzard is doing free character migrations for the highest population servers, but it remains to be seen how many people will actually swap over. In addition, the free migration isn't a true server transfer, giving you just one option to move your character to depending on which realm you're already on. It's far better than no solution at all in any case. Dungeon abuse was also a problem perpetuated in part by streamers when things kicked off. 10-man dungeon groups quickly found that they were getting far more XP than they were supposed to, and as so began exploiting this easy method to gain experience. During that window of time, people weren't questing in the world or sightseeing, they were grouping up to grind out levels before the inevitable hotfix. It detracted from the experience, making things less lively as mobs of players just wanted to run into the Scarlet Monastery again and again in a mindless grind. That's since been fixed though, and White Man can finally catch a break. My last complaint is the strange lack of consideration for Classic Plus as an idea. If we let Blizzard just re-release old content, we end up where we started. I don't want things to end at Wrath of the Lich King again, when a lot of the issues that started bringing the demise of the game were implemented as early as the Burning Crusade. 
I'm no expert in game design, and I like the addition of new classes, but it would be nice to see Blizzard care about this product and go to the route of old school RuneScape. Otherwise, we'll just end up with a dead game once again. Overall though, I'm really enjoying my time and have already made countless memories in these short two weeks. I look forward to sinking a ton more hours into the game, and I'm hopeful to see what Blizzard really does with this opportunity.